Hi guys. If you click that thumbnail, you know exactly where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am, oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the Flesh. Welcome back to the show. Happy January 2019 or happy 2019. This is going to be your How Does Bay Feel About You? For the sun sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2019. Mm. Beautiful. Um, if you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, ow. Hello, fam bams. I hope this reading finds you guys all well and in good spirits. This is the second time that I'm attempting this. The very first time, it wasn't fair. It just wasn't fair. Um, but I'm going to let you know some of the energies that came out. Um, and I've in the effort to not necessarily save time, but I was so angry. Then um, I went back in and, and dealt with myself and uh, I got something else. So originally, we got everything that was the dark side of your partner. When I tapped in, this is how does Bay feel about you? But I just felt like that reading was very, very much so geared toward what's going on in their head. And that's not fair. We know that if, if and especially if the last video of the last year that uh, resonated with you, uh, Cancerians, that you know that your partner um, needs to go through this healing process, um, but an offer is coming and you're choosing to stick with them. I did not want the reading to be all about them. I really, really felt like it was about your partner more so than you. So I, I had eight minutes of that video recorded and I stopped. I was like, hell no, I'm not doing this because that's not fair. I know we have an eclipse. I know that there's a lot going on, but out of that entire spread, it really told the story of the fact that they are going through a lot. And we keep getting that, but I wanted to really tap into how they felt about you. This is what this reading is about. And I didn't want it to be uh, so negative. It really upset me. So when I went back in and did the pre-shuffle, I'm sorry, when I got all of the cards and meditated, calmed down, started doing some breathing, I asked spirit again, and then true love popped out. Okay, so... This is the romance of the li of a lifetime. And then um, there were certain cards that popped out in your five cards for the romance angel oracle that I kept. One of them was this could be the one. This was the only card that I felt drawn to that I purposely went in the deck and got because it came out in the first spread. So I'm giving that back to you guys. Um, in an effort to be fair, we are going to shuffle for the rest of them. Um, but... This person do, does feel like you're the one. And this is the love of a lifetime for this particular person. Cancer, you've made an impact. And yes, we know that this person, if, this, if the last video resonated with you, I don't know what these cards are going to say yet, but I do feel that way. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And then we have flirt. Okay. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I will say that this did come out in the last uh, spread. So I'm going to factor this into the stagnation. And we know that this person has some healing to do. Um, I'm going to keep that in the overall scheme of things. The chariot tried to come out in your energy a couple times or tried to come out in your partner's energy because this deck represents that. Cancer, this is a brand new deck. This particular deck, the Wisdom Seekers Tarot, I love it. Even when it's telling a bad story, it still is very beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. Um, the death card is a little crazy. Um, but you know, there is some planning here that your partner is doing with this two of wands. I'm not ready for that. So I'm going to put it back, but I'm letting you know, it might come back out in the clarifying energy, but there is a lot of energy that's trying to come out for you. So, um, this deck is beautiful. Let's go ahead. Whoa. And get started. Six of swords. Yes, they are moving away. They're healing. This is telling their journey. And I hope that spirit will let us know how they feel 
about you <laughs> seven of pentacles again it came out twice so i'm gonna go ahead and take it okay seven what was the first i think that was the seven of pentacles um this seven needed to come out so i'm gonna go ahead uh universe spirit angels and my guides go ahead. wow high priestess and let me know here how does cancer's partner feel about them please one card each spirit one card how does cancer's partner feel about them so there is obviously that's our galloping king of cups there there is a need um there still feels like there's some things that they aren't revealing not about how they feel anymore i don't feel like that's an issue if you haven't received your offer yet if the feelings have not come out they will um i do feel like there are some things in their past that they are not telling you because it's embarrassing that's our two of cups um they're being guided right now to trust their intuition i feel like this person that you're dealing with is highly spiritual highly 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 spiritual okay that was the nine of wands trying to come out in their energy to let you know that they got some fight left i just don't feel like it's relevant right now um whoa whoa justice is here we'll go ahead and take that The Seven of Pentacles is here, the High Priestess, the King of Cups, Two of Cups, Justice card. Spirit is letting you know, Cancer, that your person is definitely understanding that this is the romance of a lifetime and they are in love with you and consider you a true love. They know that you're the one, okay? And the fact that they're willing to put this work in and acknowledge your chemistry and understand that they need to really work and they, they want to get back flirty with you, though. They want to have fun. They feel like you provide them with some type of joy. They feel like they have a lot dealing with this Hill and Family Issues card. They have so much that they have to do as it pertains to um, forgiving and learning from the past that I feel like they just want you to just kind of hold on. Um, oh, okay. So the feeling of being left out in the cold is gone. This is not the five of pentacles, but they're no longer crying over spilled milk. I felt like at some point in you guys' this past, there was them holding on to a lot of what was go went on with the, feel the healing family issues. Um, I feel like they, shoot, sorry. I feel like they were, they had... Jesus Christ, a victim's mentality. Um, they're coming out of that, okay? They're coming out of it. It's very, very low. It's in reverse. That's great, okay? They do look at you as the one because we got the king of cups in the main and we got the queen of cups here, divine feminine and divine masculine energy, and you are the one. You see that? That's how they look at you. Seven of Cups is in reverse. Their options are over. They're no longer looking at any other options other than these two cups that is represented by you and them. We have King of Cups, Cancer. Queen of Cups, Cancer. Two of Cups. It's all about you and this connection right now, which is beautiful. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is the fourth card. But this is their, their foundation. This is this. They're having some issues with their foundation, with their family. I don't feel like that Ten of Pentacles. This, these are the wild cards, the fourth card down. Sometimes it ties in things. Um, but we got our three as it pertains to how they feel. But when we go and, and, and go one more down and see what lies beneath, there's something in their family um, issue, where uh, their family structure, where they're not feeling very confident. They're dealing with some stuff, okay? So, 
There is a need to reassess and step back, but waiting on the ships to come in. I'm not necessarily feeling like they're waiting. Um, but again, this is reassessing, kind of waiting for the ships to come in in a, in a, in a standpoint. Let me put this down. And from the standpoint of there's been an investment, okay? So they've invested in this connection, okay? They've planted all of these seeds and they're waiting on them to come. I don't think they have to wait. I think that there's something represented in this high priestess that's telling them to do something different than what they're used to doing. Uncover and share with you this deep pain that they have that's causing them to act a little stagnant. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the Seven of Pentacles. But again, I do feel like there's a need here to make an offer. And I think that the High Priestess is guiding them to use their intuition and really embrace the fact that they're ready to bring that cup to you. Um, honestly... I know that they're focused on this connection right now. This is the connection. This is the balance. This is the you and me. This is you and I. Okay? We can conquer the world in love. You and I. Okay? There will be justice. And this is to me. We got a high priestess here. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Pisces. We do have um, Libra energy here with this Justice card. So the High Priestess is tapping into your person's energy and letting them know that it is safe for them. I'm surprised it's safe for you to love. It's not here. They're coming to the realization where you are the true love and the love of a lifetime. Um, and, and they go back and forth. This high priestess energy is just that, okay? But they don't go back and forth with you. They go back and forth with themselves. I think they go back and forth to the past with this five of cups. Um, one minute, it's focusing on this five of cups. Focusing on what this, what, what this, this spill milk from the past. Instead of focusing and moving forward and mopping that shit up. Okay, justice is going to be served. I also feel like for some of you guys, this represents the fact that they're going through something in the court of law that maybe they don't want you to know. Or there's things about this case that they are not revealing to you. But uh, as it pertains to how they feel, they feel as if you are their true love. You are their one. There is chemistry. They like to have fun with you. And they want you to know that everything is going to work out the way, they, the way that you want cancer very soon. They just want you to not be so focused on what you know that they're hiding because you're a damn cancer. This person that you're connecting with, I strongly feel like is this is some type of um, water sign. Although we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio with the cups. We got Virgo, Le Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with our pentacles. Piscean energy with this high priestess, I feel more so. Justice here with Libra. And then obviously Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this uh, King of Cups. And then we, we see you. So you are the divine feminine and masculine and they do love you. Okay. You are the one. There is no, you've already, yeah, there is no, this could be, you are seven of pentacles, the 10 of swords. So they're dead mentally. This is due to all of the investments in the past that they made that did not come to fruition. This is the mentally being afraid and kind of waiting because not moving at their own pace because of the mental anguish that they have um they have dealt with with the past hurts with this five of cups why is the high priestess here high priestess is here 
terrified Taurus energy they want to take things to the next level this is a deep love this is one oh they are not a telling you honey oh my goodness this should be in reverse the hierophant is representing the high priestess um honey they're praying consulting some type of counsel going to get card readings talking to somebody that they um uh, that to them represents wisdom and the high priestess is them not letting you know i knew it i knew it when the first the very first spread that i pulled for you guys the one that i just had to stop because i was like this is just not right there was a strong feeling with all of that shit that they were going through that they really love you and need you way more than they want to let on. Whoo, honey. They're praying and lighting candles. and I'm, The hair font is clarifying the high priestess. They're not letting you know that. Oh, wait. Clarify this King of Cups. They, you, you, I just want you around. I just want you around, Cancer. I'm talking to people. I'm sorry I held back with this Four, uh, four of Pentacles. It, expressing myself is not my strong suit. I'm broke. I may be a little depressed. I got all types of stuff going on. And I'm sorry that I can't tell you that. That I may be a little, a little afraid to tell you that. But it's because of the fact that I view you so highly. That I would hate for you to look at me differently. Ooh. Cancers, I feel this, honey. You know I am a cancer. Oh, my God. I'm sorry I held back how I felt. This person, Cancer, is consulting people about you. They're talking. Maybe they're getting tarot readings again. Whatever they, I don't know why this changed and went red. Come on now. Whatever, that two of cups. Whatever... And whomever they consider to be of importance to them in their life, that's who they're talking to about you. Clarify this two of cups for me. Ooh, all of those. No. Clarify the two of cups. I don't know why I went yellow, guys. Hopefully, if you see that tint. <laughs> oh. Oh, ooh, my eyes jumping. What's clarifying the two of cups? The six of wands, baby. That's my marriage card. Look at that. They want you on the back of this damn horse with them. Gallivanting around the town. This is mine. I love her. I love him. This is my one. Woo, we. This justice could be justice of the peace. Clarify justice. Oh, shit. What the fuck fell out? Some of you guys, your partner wants to take you on a retreat. I'm not taking all of these. But the sun is here. I'm not taking all of those. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Why is justice here? This could be, I have a lot. Listen, I, I see what I see. And I'm feeling strong marriage. Strong marriage. Especially with this higher font. Yeah. This, 
is clarifying justice. Because they have no more mental clear, no more mental anguish. Once you get to, down to the bottom with the Ten of Swords, you can't go anywhere else to the ace, but to the ace. This is the lowest of the low. Mentally, they were dead. You brought them back to life. And this is the clarity that they came into and the truth. That now it's time to either go down to the justice of the peace or that the situation needs to needs justice, needs balance, and needs truth. See, what's beautiful about this is that this justice, she has two things in her hand. This sword of truth and the balance, the scales for balance, baby. So when you got this, this is double truth. And balance. Some of you guys are going to be getting engaged. King of Pentacles. He wants to offer you something in the clarifying energy. And that is the stability. He is. Uh, the Four of Cups is in reverse. So this is obviously upright, meaning that they're not offer, they're not focused on that offer. This is them coming out of it because now they have this ace of swords and they came into the realization of how they feel. And finally, yeah. Four wands. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Jesus Christ. Underneath that, we got the lovers. Gemini energy. Whoo we four of wands, six of wands, two of cups. Oh my goodness. King and Queen of Cups. Oh my God. I'm trying to hold it together. This is gorgeous. Ooh, we. It better have been. Get ugly, Cancer. Let's find out how you feel, lovelies. There's going to be an offer of stability. There's going to be an offer of forever. This person um, that you're connecting with is um, not ready to uh, let you know, but they're being nudged tremendously to the point where it's bothering them because what they don't want you to know is that as they're ready to take this to the next level now i forgot to show you this hold on this this is marriage the hair font and the four of wands they want to marry you they're thinking about it. They don't want you to know that they're thinking about it. And I'm not talking about just thinking about it. You're it. You're, you are it. You are definitely it. How do you feel, Cancer? Let's see. Well, the sun... Spirit, how does cancer feel about partner? Oh my God, this is gorgeous. You manifested this, baby. You have all of the tools in your arsenal to manifest the outcome that you want. Um, this isn't a manipulative magician. This is what you wanted, baby. How does cancer feel? Oh my God, how does cancer feel? baby that is the ten of pentacles this is how you feel you love this person and you definitely can see yourself in a in a stable relationship oh and you're manifesting it oh my god my stomach hurts <laughs> oh my god the two of cups you guys are mirroring each other Cancer. Oh my 
God. How does cancer feel? Oh, <laughs> you're hopeful for this. Aquarius energy with the star. I can't oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, take my heart right out of my chest. <sighs> You've been through it. You have been through it. And you have manifested this. This is over. The reading is over. My goodness. Look at this. King of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my God, how are you the king of pentacles in reverse? Oh my God, the fool in reverse. I don't even care about these energies. You're being strong. Period. Oh my, my, my. Well, you're definitely manifesting what you want. I'm going to cry. It's like that. Which one of these videos had me tearing up? I think it was that Capricorn video last week. Ooh. Wow. Get that. Wow. Wow. Like, I thought I saw the star somewhere. Look at this queen. Look at her. Mm, mm, mm. That's their energy. They're making an offer. They're making the offer. You could possibly not be feeling so confident because you still remember the high priestess is here. There's still some things that you, you for those of you who have not experienced this, you don't know. So you may not be feeling as confident about moving forward um, because you you just don't know. You don't know yet. And that's okay. You, you know, you even are possibly contemplating walking away because this person has been so secretive with you. They've been very secretive. Yes, I knew I saw it. Okay. Um, you guys are mirroring mirroring one another with the lovers. I knew it was something that I was looking for. Okay. Um, my God. King of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. That's the offer of a lifetime together. Woo-wee. Cancer, I think it's pretty clear how Bay feels about you. Um, all right. You guys are mirroring each other with the Two of Cups. You are mirroring each other with the lovers. Your person looks at you as their divine feminine and or masculine. They are ex quite excited to be feeling this way he is on a horse ready to express this um if you haven't heard it it's coming if they haven't showed you you should be noticing some differences though you should definitely be noticing some differences in them if they haven't said it to you oh wow okay I think I pretty much covered it. Um, I really do want to give a strong emphasis on the hair font, which um, in a love reading, definitely with all of the cards that I have, I think it's clear that they want to marry you. Um, but there's a reason why they don't want you to know. They're not ready necessarily with this seven of pentacles to let you know. 
there is something that they are assessing here going in and reassessing something and i think it has something to do with the way they're going to approach this with this seven of pence um but they finally want to see some results that's when people you know people say oh you know waiting on the ships to come in at a you know I don't necessarily feel like that's what this person is doing. They're really going inside to figure out what the best approach is. Because this time, remember, this is what they're coming off of. Healing. Okay. And there has been some deep 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 wounds that altered this person and i really do feel like this time they really just want to do this right so if you're feeling stagnancy cancer please just be patient it's the same thing except the healing they're dealing with the healing process they're done this offer is not just stability. This is this is marriage. This hair font and this high priestess, one clarifying the other, is very very powerful. And and you, they're not gonna let you walk away because they're gonna fight for this. So this is what I'm advising: just be strong. Get your ego in check. Just be strong. The ego is gonna tell you, no, f this. This isn't happening um, in enough time. This is it. This has been your reading, Cancer. Oh, my God. Ooh-wee. I'm so happy I did that over because the very first one was all of the shit that they were going through. Um, I certainly hope it resonated. Please like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe, sweethearts. Okay. Cancers, I'm calling you out. Let me know how you feel about this reading. I want to know down below. Okay, I think I talked about personal readings and all that good stuff. Maybe I didn't because I got right into this reading. I won't even go into it right now. We're going to go ahead and end it. Certainly hope it resonated. Like, share, subscribe to this tribe, okay? And um, God, I'm at a loss for words. I really, like, I've been reading our energy. And if this is what's coming, Hopefully, y'all, I'll be like, I was married now. I'm trying to tell you, okay? I hope this resonates with somebody because if it's me, y'all going to see me on here. <laughs> Bye, cancer.